Hey, everybody. So we're going to start today with an imam. That's every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. On the odd minutes, we're going to do Russian twists. On the even minutes, we're going to do the plank hold. So minutes 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, we're doing Russian twists. Minutes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, we're doing the plank hold. So the Russian twists, we're going to do 20 of them. So you have a full minute to get those done. The faster you get them done, the more rest you have before you start your plank. On the even minutes, we're going to do a 45-second plank hold. So that's within your minute. You have a little transition time there to get those 45 seconds in. So let's take a look at our movements. The Russian twist, we're seated on the floor with our butt on the floor and feet in the air. You're going to start with the object on one side. You're going to bring it all the way over and touch it to the floor. That's one rep. Then you bring it back over to the other side, touch it to the floor. That's rep two. And we're going to do 20 of them. You can use any object that you like, um, whatever kind of weight you're thinking. Normally in the gym, we use the medicine balls, 20 pounds for the boys, 14 pounds for the ladies. So figure out what you want to use there or what, what you can hold on to and, and still pull this off. Those are our Russian twists. Then we're going to get into the plank hold. So the plank hold, we are on the forearms. Try not to clasp your hands together. Keep them separate. Nice and tight. Pull the rib cage down toward the pelvis. Butt should be slightly higher than the shoulders, and we're nice and tight. Breathing. Try not to overload your shoulders, so put that in the abs and not the shoulders, and you hang on to that for 45 seconds. If you can't quite do that, we'll do the other plank, which is at the top of the push-up position. So elbows extended, and here your shoulders will actually be higher than your butt, so uh, not quite the, the, the same position as the other one, but you're still working that tension in the core, so pulling the rib cage down toward the legs. And that's our plank hold. When we finish that, we're going to get into our workout today. So our, for our workout, we're going to do this for 10 rounds. So if you're looking at the numbers there, we're looking at 100 pistols, 50 on each leg, because a pistol is a one-legged squat. And burpees, in the green, we're looking at 50. In the blue and black, it's going to be 100 burpees. So um, the pistol, let's take a look at that. If you're doing the pistol to the box, we are starting in a standing position you're going to bring your butt back and down to the box or chair or couch or whatever it is you're using there some sort of target the lower the better you want to make it a target that's pretty low probably lower than what i'm using here uh, if I were doing this to a box, it would be much, much lower. You want to get down as low as you can and still be able to come back up on the one foot. So the standard here is you stand all the way back up and you get your knee and hip extended before the other foot touches the floor. So make sure you're fully extended and then the other foot makes contact with the floor. Don't prematurely tap that foot down. And obviously each leg is one rep, so a pistol is a one-legged squat. So we're going to switch off and you're going to alternate legs and get your number in. If we're doing the pistol uh, without the box, what we're doing is just a one-legged air squat. Standing up, we're going to drop down. So you're, the standard is your hip crease passes below the top of the kneecap, so below parallel, and then we come all the way back up. Same standard, your knee and hip needs to come to full extension before that other foot comes back to the floor. If you start to lose your balance, just make sure you get full extension before your foot leaves the floor or the other foot touches. And that's our pistol, alternating legs. And then we're going to finish with the burpee. Now, the burpee we're doing today is over an object, so it's a lateral jump. So you're going to drop chest to the floor, and then you're going to jump up, except you don't need to jump and clap. You don't even need to extend your knees or hips. The finish of the movement is jumping over the object. So it's a two-foot takeoff, so both feet leave the floor at the same time, and then you get over the object. Here I'm using a kettlebell, but you can use anything that, you can, that you'd like. It should be about halfway up your shin, should be the height of it, so you do have to get over something. And if you cannot do the two-foot takeoff, we can step over it to scale it down or do a one-foot jump is also another way to scale this. And then obviously you can also just scale to a burpee with a jump and clap, hips and knees extended. That's another option. So looking back at the workout, we have in the green 10 pistols with the butt to the box, five burpees over the object, or if you want to scale to just a burpee. In the blue, it's going to be 10 and 10, and in the black, it's also 10 and 10, but that's without the box. We're doing a, a real pistol, real one-legged air squat. 10 rounds for time. Log your scores on Beyond the Whiteboard. If you have questions, let me know. See you tomorrow.